Hi, I'm Victor Martin. I'm principal cloud engineer at Oracle Cloud. Today, I want to create two virtual machines and make uh, the installation of Nginx in both of them. And I want to enable the firewall, either the uh, virtual cloud network security list and also the local firewall that is running on the instances. So that is the typical, st the typical step that you need to do in order to have connectivity to a public subnet and a virtual machine running inside of that subnet. So let's go. We can create a virtual machine. Uh, just, I'm going to say Oracle Linux. I'm going to create it in compartment demo. I'm going to leave the image as it is. I'm going to also leave the, um, the shape as it is, one of the smallest one. And I'm going to say that my network is one that I created before, that is a VCN called my network. I'm going to say that it's a public subnet. So we are going to have uh, access uh, to that instance through the public uh, subnet connection. And I'm going to assign a public IP address. And that means that it will be automatically assigned a public uh, internet uh, IP address that you can uh, uh, use. I'm going to select uh, my public key that I'm in, I have in my clipboard. And I'm going to go to the end and click Create. This is going to take a little while. In the meantime, I'm going to come back to Instances and create a new one that is going to be Ubuntu. Same compartment, same availability domain. I'm going to change the image. The image is going to be canonical Ubuntu 20. I select the image. I leave the shape as it is. Same virtual cloud network, same public subnet, and assign a public IP address. I'm going to paste my public key, and I'm going to click Create. Now I have my Oracle Linux and my Ubuntu that is being provisioned. This usually takes just a few minutes, sometimes seconds. It's going to uh, give me the public subnet here and I can go and step in and see that it's already running and I have my public subnet here. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to my terminal. In my terminal, I'm going to SSH into that machine with the user for Oracle Linux, so OPC, at the public IP. It's going to ask if I want to connect. Yes, add the fingerprint, all good, and I'm inside of that uh, virtual machine. That is good. So first step, as I mentioned, sudo yun install, confirm, and then nginx. And I'm going to install the nginx. In the meantime, maybe I can take a look to the Oracle, uh, uh, to the Ubuntu, it's already running as well. So I'm going to step in, copy the public, and come back here, create another terminal. This is a new terminal. And I'm going to SSH, in this case, Ubuntu is the user and the public IP. I want to add the fingerprint and I'm in the Ubuntu server. That's good. I'm going to do exactly the same. In this case, I'm going to do a sudo apt update first. And in the meantime, I'm going to come back to the Oracle Linux. In the Oracle Linux, I am already installed the Nginx, so I'm going to see the status, sudo systemctl, status Nginx. And it's going to tell me that it's not running, so I'm going to change that. sudo systemctl, start Nginx. And now I'm going to run the previous one, status. And the status is active running and it's telling me that it's been running for three seconds. That's good. 
So that means that, for example, if I do a curl command, it's silent mode, I don't need any noise, and I say localhost, and I grab that for welcome, I'm going to grab the results, so I get the header, welcome to nginx on Fedora. It's using Fedora because uh, it's using the repository with the nginx from Fedora. That's fine, I have this from uh, localhost, so I'm going to, instead of going to the web console in Oracle Cloud and copy again the public IP, I'm going to do this from inside the terminal. I can do that because there is some tools already installed in Oracle Linux, like Oracle uh, OCI public IP, and I'm going to say, give me the results in human readable results. So in that case, I'm going to uh, ask Oracle Cloud what is the public IP of that um, Linux instance. I can copy that and I can do the same call on that one. And I get nothing. And that makes sense because my virtual cloud network doesn't have a security list that allow me to have access through that port, port 80 by default. So let's cancel this and come back to Oracle Cloud and see, okay, this is my Ubuntu. I have the two instances. Let's go to the Oracle Linux and I can see that in the instance details, I have my network. That is the name of my virtual cloud network. Let's go there. Inside of that, I have two public subnets, one public subnet and one private subnet. In the public subnet where my uh, Oracle uh, Linux and my Ubuntu Linux are running, I have a security list, a default security list. Let's step in and I will see that I allow port 22 and some other ICMP. Okay, so that looks like I need to add an ingress rule to allow traffic from everywhere because that is going to be a web server. So I want everybody to reach my web server from any, uh, any source port. And I want all of them to hit port 80. That is where my Nginx is uh, listening. So I'm going to add that ingress rule. Cool, that is already applied, it's the last line, all good. Let's come back and do the same. A call on my uh, public IP and I'm going to add, it's redundant, but the port 80 at the end. And it's failing, it's saying that no root to host. Okay, so what's next? Well, the thing is that every Oracle image uh, any Oracle Linux image that is provided by Oracle Cloud, it has enabled the uh, firewall, the local firewall. So we first got a stack on the firewall on the, VC, uh, on the VCN, on the public subnet, and now we are being stopped on the Linux itself, in the local instance. So that means that we are going to have to enable another rule, another ingress rule on that port 80 on TCP. And for that, we can use sudo firewall, cmd, and we are going to say, okay, in my zone, because firewall D has different zones, and the one that we want is the public one, we are going to indicate that my zone is public, and I'm going to have a port 80 on TCP. And I'm going to say that this is going to be permanent, because I want that after a reboot, this rule is still applied, is still uh, alive. So let's go for that, success, all good. And now we are going to reload the firewall D. So it's going to uh, pick that rule that we added. And for that is reload, success. And that means that if we execute the curl command, this time I'm not going to put the port 80. And now we get that, that is the website. So if I grab port welcome, I'm going to get that welcome from uh, uh, Nginx on Fedora. That's good. So that is the first thing we have to do. Now let's go to Ubuntu. Ubuntu has the same thing. It has a local firewall. So in that case, it means that if we finish the installation, so apt install, we are going to confirm all the questions, and then we say Nginx. We are going to install Nginx. We are going to make sure that it's running. And then 
at this stage, we are going to make sure that we have connection with localhost. So system sudo system CTL status dnx. I think by default it's running on Ubuntu. Yeah. So it's running from 14 seconds ago. That's good. And now we are going to say core silent mode. And we are going to say local host. And we are going to prep by welcome. Cool. So yeah, it's running and we have the welcome to nginx. And that's good. In this case, I'm going to come back to the compute. So menu, compute, instances. We have this public IP for the Ubuntu instance. So we are going to do a core with this and it's failing again. No root to host. So that means uh, the local firewall is stopping you from communicating. So in this case, it's a little bit more tricky, but it's simple. We are going to ask UFW, that is the local firewall by default, to be disabled. OK. Uh, that means that we don't have the UFW, but we are going to install the firewall command as we did with Oracle Linux. That is my recommendation. It's the best way, and you don't have to go to IP tables. You can do all of these with IP tables. That's fine. But well, if you have worked with IP tables, you know what I'm uh, thinking about. Um, so we are going to apt install and confirm that firewall D. That is the packet that contain my firewall commands to be able to change uh, firewall rules uh, in an easy manner. We are going to wait for that to install and now we can do the same. sudo firewall command. We are going to indicate the sum public at port, same port, TCP and we are going to indicate that this is going to be permanent. It's a chip, all good. sudo firewall cmd. Now we are going to say, yeah, this reload. OK, so let's come back to the corner command. And there it is. I am going to grab the results with welcome. And that is welcome to Nginx. So this is the way you can enable uh, all the ports either on the VCN and also in the, in the local instance uh, to enable communication from the outside, from the internet, to a public subnet and virtual machines running on those. Thank you.